Maruti Suzuki India's sales declined by 1.5% in the second quarter of 2018-19 financial year. The company sold a total of 484,848 vehicles during the second quarter. Sales in the domestic market stood at 455,400 units while exports were at 29,448 units. The operating profit however was lower by 9.5%. The company says that this has been caused because of increase in commodity prices, adverse foreign exchange movement and higher sales promotion expenses partially offset by cost reduction efforts. While the urban markets did not show a significant growth in terms of sales, rural markets contributed to 40% of the company's total sales. Tiago JTP and the Tigor JTP were finally revealed. These are the first products coming out of the joint venture between Tata Motors and JM Automotive's Private Limited. The cars get an aggressive front bumper with large trapezoidal lower grille, dual chamber projector lamps with chrome rings, sporty side skirts, contrast colored outside mirrors, dual tone exterior with glossy black roof and rear spoiler. And there are a bunch of JTP badges on the front grille fender vents and even the rear both the cars ride on 15 inch diamond cut dual tone alloy wheels the cabin too is a bit sporty with red accents on the ac vents and premium leather wrapped steering with contrast red stitching the performance oriented versions also get aluminum pedal extensions both the cars come powered by the 1.2 liter turbocharged revotron petrol engine which delivers 112 brake horsepower and 150 newton meters of peak torque. Tata Motors says that the JTP versions of both the cars can go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 10 seconds. Expect the cars to cost a lakh more than the top spec variants currently on offer. Triumph Motorcycles has unveiled the all new Scrambler 1200. The Scrambler 1200 is offered in two variants, the XC and the XE. Both variants are off-road oriented, but the top spec XE variant offers more suspension travel and advanced electronics. The bike is powered by the company's tried and tested 1200cc parallel twin engine which churns out 89 brake horsepower and 110 newton meters of torque. Both models come with fully adjustable twin spring Olin's rear suspension along with fully adjustable USD forks from Showa up front. The bike gets a segment first 21 inch front wheel along with 17 inch rear wheels shod in dual purpose tires from Metzeler. In terms of features, the bikes come with ride by wire, cruise control, heated grips, under seat mobile storage with USB charging port, keyless ignition, and torque assist clutch. The bike also comes with the latest generation full color TFT instrument display. Triumph India is expected to launch only the XC trim in India and we expect it to be priced at around 10 lakh rupees to 12 lakh rupees. If you like that video, you've got to subscribe to our channel. We keep things nice and simple and yet very comprehensive just for you.